Trust that is um, hoping to help children or families with children under far um, in the Clifton area and also over in the Acom Hobmoor area um, to just gain a better quality of life really. I've come through from having worked with social services and having been a teacher and I've seen children who you think if only I'd, if only I'd had a chance to, to help this one at, at two or three or whenever instead of getting them at eight and nine when, when you feel that things have happened that can't be undone. So it's that chance, but it's also a chance of getting in and, and being very much involved in the community, which again I think is important because um, it's all very well helping a few families now, um, but in the future this community has got to support the families themselves and the families have got to be in a position to be able to, to, to feel empowered to do that. It gives people things to do when they have children because there's not a lot going on and once you get involved it just kind of snowballs into bigger things. Because it's like, you know, like all the mums, you, they never get to see anybody. So they've got somewhere to come and sit down and talk to each other instead of being sat at home, bored on their own. It's about improving services for preschool kids and their families, but it's about involving them in doing it and um, working in, in different ways and trying out new things. And really, I think the key is getting parents and children involved in the process and agreeing with them how we're going to do that. If they want to participate, then parents have an opportunity to be a rep um, for the groups or on the boards and then they actually get to affect the services and have a say. So we can decide things like what activities we want to do here today, um, right through to parents can help um, sit on the panel to actually employ new members of staff. So we've got a big, we get a big say in what we actually want to do. Yeah. It gives you it gives you a basis for your life because you're, you're a, a group, you're a family. It's not just like going to a play group and dropping them off and going away. Yeah. It's part of your life. It's made a huge difference to me. Um, before I did, there wasn't anywhere that I went with my baby till I started coming here and now we come at least twice a week um, and it gets us out of the house. I made a lot of new friends, my daughter's got a lot of friends. So yeah, it's the best thing we've done so far. Before show starts and the groups and everything, um, I was actually a virtual shut-in. Um, I had my, my son, which I didn't really take out once a week. I took him to like a, a group in the afternoon. Um, but apart from that, we just didn't go out. I didn't do anything. Um, and then I took another child. So when show start, started, all of a sudden I had groups to come down to. And not only that um, for the children, but also for me personally, I was able to get involved in show start. Because um, I have a degree and it's just been really nice actually use my brain again and that's the good thing about Sure Start is you get to be an adult as well. The, the development is huge you know children who came in and kind of didn't know what to do didn't really have much interaction with with many people are now flying really you know want to come back they go to the crash and say right see you mum whereas before they were like oh you know I don't want to leave don't want to leave my mum my and all my parents so I mean that's just great to see. You get to do things that normally you wouldn't do with your child at home, so like painting and baking, because obviously all these things cost money to do at home. So it's fabulous, there's always some, you know, somebody to talk to if you're, you're not having a good day. So yeah, it's fab. I tended not to do many of the messy play activities at home, but now they've been able to come out and get covered in paint and stick and things and I've actually started to do that at home now as well because I've seen how important it is and sure starts giving us that I think. So it's got you know like places for when their children can go play while the mum's sitting and talk and have a drink and get to associate with the friends while the children are getting to learn things. So do you learn a lot a lot of stuff here. They get to read books with the people who are helping, they have something to eat. It's a good thing to do. When we first had Show Start come on site, it was a real big difference to school. Suddenly, different people, different faces were using our school building and it was really weird. And then we got to know each other and we got to understand that there was a real purpose to what we were doing together. The um, gates and the safety things fitted at home, which would have had to pay for normally. And whatever. They put them in for free and 
Got two um, safety yeah. gates in the fire garden. She's given us some other useful information. Had some free things for her. And it's been all right. Yeah, it's been. Yeah. I can see a real difference in the children that have had experience with us through our play opportunities in Sure Start to the ones that haven't. It's a very strange beast, is Sure Start. Um, in the sense that you think you're setting something up, you think you're, you're providing one set of opportunities and you suddenly discover they've gone off at a different angle, that things you didn't expect to emerge have emerged and that um, people who you thought were just going to be uh, attending, you know, coming somewhere because it was something to do, were suddenly um, making suggestions of how it could be changed and, and moved and it, it's organic. We've got health visitors here, we've got social workers and we've all learned from each other which has been fabulous. I mean I have learned so much about how play helps children learn and how you know it's seen as a thing that children do but it's vitally important to how they learn and, and develop and that's something we really focus on. Things like you know you don't have to make a certain picture in a certain way, it's about the fact you've, you've gone through that process rather than what you've made at the end of it so that it's a learning process rather than a product ultimately that we sort of focus on people who need help with their children because they've got bad background from whatever uh, problems with children even um, whether it's physical or emotional disabilities as well and all that's within sure start you can get any kind of help you need from here whether it's advice or actual help it's all here Sure Starts um, and the Big White Talk uh, National Projects are working together here in York um, and it's looking at how children um, learn and play and it's great we get to do fun messy things with the children like uh, beans, squidging it with their hands and paint and making things and Sure Starts enable that to happen here in York too. If we need, as a family, if we need some support in the local area We'll just ring another family up that comes to the Shore Start group and we'll get the support there. Parent reps are here to help with the parent and the child. Um, it's basically to help out with normal duties, even if it's just putting games out, um, helping the kids paint, putting food out. Um, parent reps are also here if there's any new parents and children that have not been before, um, just to chat to them and make them feel welcome because we, all, we always want people to come back. Um, and also if, if parents have got ideas of things that have not been done before when we go to the board meetings um, and the parent meetings we can put those new ideas forward. Like when I first came there's a lot of people I want to meet like uh, a teacher, he's not here yet, if he turns up I'll point him out to him, very intelligent. I wouldn't normally associate with teachers after school, but it's just um, people you would never meet or you'd never really speak to, you can socialise with them. And ultimately it's not just about the, the professionals saying you should be doing this and you should be doing that, it's working with the parents and the children to say, you know, how can we sort this out together. The play experiences that we try to build into all our um, activities for children, improving social and emotional um, health and the physical development, being able to build in challenges like climbing or um, if we've got today sort in the past, and they're learning so much through that. Debate, we have debates, see, because I'm an old fashioned parent, whereas a lot of them are all these new fashioned parents. And we just swap ideas about what we can do. And sometimes, I suppose, I suppose sometimes it might have helped me when they say, when I go and say, my daughter's been smoking <laughs> and she's 14, I'm going to kill her. And they go, why don't you try this way? I should do really. Should. <laughs> We're delighted with Yorkshire Start. It's, um, and this isn't just ourselves, it's other. Um, assessors of our service tells us tell us what a good service it is. Um, it's innovative, it's creative um, and I think it's ahead of the game in, in certain important ways. Because we have quite a few workers, we have time to talk to people, and I think that makes a difference at groups and things, that there is stuff around that can always talk to people. It's not like going to a normal play group where you just sort of have to you know, see what there is and get on with it. Um, all the members of staff contribute different things, like Irene with their cooking, everybody comes here to do her recipes, and uh, Linda's really good with the crafty stuff, we all come back and 
but it's just really nice and Alison's good at managing us all and she keeps us all going and they're people to talk to if, they, if you've got a problem. They're all, as well as being staff members who are running this, they're all willing to listen to you as an individual and on a personal level. They're lovely, really lovely, they're very friendly, easy to talk to, they'll answer all your questions. Just talking to a young woman in there and saying, Oh, what shall I say about health? says, and she said, Oh, say it stops us, um, it stops us going off our rocker. You know, then that's that's a good definition, really. In terms of mental health, people feel better when they've got supportive friendships and a sense of being together in a community. You know, I think we've got this completely different relationship with people and probably see the same person in lots of other settings, so I think you get a, a whole picture. I mean, improving health is one of the, the targets that the Short Start unit set us, including increasing sort of um, breastfeeding rates and reducing um, smoking. Um, and a lot of people think that health's about, you know, going to the doctors and, and getting a tablet and all that kind of stuff, but it's much broader than that. It's about how you feel about yourself, your self-esteem, and if those are good, then your health's generally better. And I think, because Shaw sure starts about, you know, improving people's self-esteem and making them feel, you know, good about themselves and improving things for their family and how they do that together, I think then generally that will improve your health overall. But I think it's recognised by other professionals, which is even more rewarding. I mean, some of the, um, you know, the teaching staff have, have commented that about the, the children sort of being in a slightly different place. And I think that's really encouraging as somebody else does that. I think we're actually here on... Um, in the premises so they can ask us help advice. So I think it's made an enormous difference to children's health. The groups that runs on a Monday morning had expressed a great desire in having somewhere that they could kind of escape to. Uh, and that, that was where it started off. But obviously uh, within the, um, the time that we used the, the house, this is a, a good part of the house to bring people to. But the parents were instrumental in the colours and the design and the layout and the furniture. We always try and promote healthy eating. Um, we always have sort of bread and cheese, we always have some kind of fruit, something healthy for the kids. But also it's got to be something that we know they're going to eat, it's not going to get wasted. But it always goes down well. <laughs> I get a lot of recipes that are quick and easy to do at home and I know whether the kids like them or not because they've already tried them here first. <laughs> Questions come up about families, how, how to get their children to eat or how to introduce fruit and vegetables. Um, we're privileged to project out um, healthy eating programmes on um, both sides of the city. Also having fun with food, that's ultimately to be more relaxed around food, to enjoy 